Here is a video I made of how I installed my X-Pole and aerial rig from my home studio. I did a bunch of research online to make sure that I knew where to locate the ceiling joists. So I ended up cutting three holes so that I found two of the joists and I was going to put a four by six beam in between two of them and then be able to put bolt head large screws through both ends as well. I used Simpson ties to help hold it in place before I put the bolt head screws through each side. And I ended up using a four by six beam because the X pole mount is rather large and I wanted it to be able to fit perfectly on it. Cat's taking over my ladder. So after I got the four by six beam installed using the Simpson ties and putting the bolts through, bolt head screws on the sides, I had bought a ceiling medallion. So there I was measuring it to see how much I would have to cover back up with the sheetrock. So sorry I didn't have where I actually cut the sheetrock out, but I made sure that I cut them out exactly the same so they fit back in like a little puzzle piece. And I put backing on there and screwed the backing on so that the pieces of sheetrock or drywall could go right back over the top of it. And then I used the mesh drywall tape for the edges. And then I made sure that I covered up the side that the ceiling medallion wasn't going to quite cover up. Then I started putting the mud on there. I did one coat and let it dry overnight. And then the next day went over it with another coat to smooth it out. Then I started painting the ceiling medallion silver, mixed together a bunch of different colors of glitter and used Mod Podge, painted it with a little brush and then dumped glitter on it and shook it off. After it was all dry, I ended up screwing it into the ceiling. I made sure that everything that I did in this project is something that when one day, if we move, I can unscrew the ceiling medallion and use it again, and then unscrew the X-pole mount and take the span set strap off of the four by six, and then just cover that up with another piece of drywall and putty it, mud it, sand it, and it'll look exactly like before. I didn't end up painting the ceiling over it because I know one day when I do take everything down, if we move, I can paint the whole ceiling so it'll match. So there's my video. Thank you.